Hello, my name is Matthew Romagano, and I'm an obstetrics and gynecology resident at Lehigh Valley Health Network in Allentown, Pennsylvania. My case is called Catecholaminergic Polymorphic Ventricular Tachycardia in Pregnancy. A 27-year-old gravity 2 para zero presented at 15 weeks gestation to our Heart and Pregnancy Program, which is a multidisciplinary program with maternal fetal medicine and cardiology. She was diagnosed with catecholaminergic polymorphic ventricular tachycardia, or CPVT, at the age of 12 when she had a few episodes of syncope. This is a disease in which um, the ventricular tachycardia occurs in the absence of structural heart disease or prolonged QT syndrome. The mainstay of treatment is beta blockers. Our patient was maintained on beta blockers prior to pregnancy. Um, this is an example of a rhythm strip that our patient experienced when she underwent an exercise stress test, which is used to diagnose this disease. Our patient, through the Heart and Pregnancy Program, had antenatal consultation with obstetrics, um, anesthesia, maternal field medicine, and cardiology. Um, she was continued on her natalol, which had previously controlled her disease. A maternal code scenario using CPVT as the etiology of cardiac arrest was designed by the obstetrics simulation team. Um, this is a diagram um, showing the plan for our patient. Our patient did undergo an induction at 40 weeks gestation. She ultimately needed a cesarean delivery secondary to fetal indications. There was no maternal cardiac de decompensation, and she delivered a live male neonate in the 7th percentile for gestational age. The cornerstone of treatment for CPVT is the avoidance of competitive sports and beta blockers and other antiarrhythmic medications. The use of these medications, as in our case, appears to be reasonable prophylaxis against ventricular tachycardia in these patients. The potential risk of growth restriction in the fetus is outweighed by the benefit of avoiding ventricular tachycardia while in pregnancy. It's creating a multidisciplinary plan with cardiology, anesthesia, and maternal field medicine can make labor for these patients more comfortable and safer as well. The code scenario used to train labor and delivery staff with CPVT as the etiology of cardiac arrest alleviated some of the uncertainty and fears that these staff members face. The importance of planning for pregnancy is paramount in these patients given the high incidence of sudden cardiac death which is between 30 and 50 percent by age 40. The physiologic changes of pregnancy and the catecholamine surge of labor can have direct consequences on the pregnant patient with CPVT. It is thus crucial to continue these patients on beta blockers and to develop a clear multidisciplinary treatment plan for pregnant women with this condition.